Joining us this morning, Wedgwood Partners CIO David Rolf. Uh, is, uh, Meta is Wedgwood's largest holding. David, it's great to have you. I know you've been pounding the table on it for a while, but uh, are they putting things together in a way that even you didn't see? Yeah, they are. I mean, the quarter was a tour de force, Carl. And uh, if you uh, take um, Zuckerberg at his word that there's still a lot more to do, um, I think estimates are still too low. Uh, the consensus... <laughs> In those dark days, just six or seven months ago, Carl, um, the consensus for 2024 fell all the way to $12.50. As we sit here today, it's raced back up to $17 a share. 2023 is in the bag. Uh, so when you start thinking of 2024, if you squint a little bit and you think improvement can come to a pace that maybe Zuckerberg is hoping for, you start getting earning power close to $20 a share. Yeah, throw a 20 multiple on that. That's a $400 stock. I think uh, I think there's plenty left in this stock over the next 12 months. Yeah, we had JP Morgan on last hour. They go to 305, not, not quite 400, but in yeah, that direction. Yeah. Um, we had a big discussion about how they manage executing in the near term and yet continue to invest, but then show cost discipline. I mean, um, this operating expense figure is, is coming down a bit, but CapEx... J.P. Morgan said could go up that in the in, in 24. And it's interesting that we're no longer in a period where the street is looking askance at that. Yeah, you know, it, it's been a high, high wire act. Certainly last fall, um, you know, the CEO, Mr. Zuckerberg, you know, fell off that high wire, regrouped, and he has some considerable breathing room to spend that four plus billion in CapEx, probably ramping up. But when you think about... Um, where the stock last time was at this level and all of those negative headwinds were just starting to come to the fore. And now look where we're at. So um, I, I'm all actually kind of thinking that, kind of surprising for you to hear this, Carl, but I think the stock still may be under owned. I'm seeing it in, in, in a variety of portfolios, certainly growth, kind of core portfolios, and even va large value. Um, there aren't many stocks that are going to have this size that are going to have this type of earnings acceleration for the next 18 months. So I think it might be a little bit under-owned here. Stock's probably got to rest for a little bit here, but the acceleration in earnings over the next couple of years is going to be a sight to behold. So is the lesson here, David, that you have to just be careful with which tech stocks you own in this environment? Because, you know, they're, they're subject to macro risk, they're subject to inflation risk and, and higher interest rates, which we were just talking about, which which might come, but after Microsoft and, and Meta, all the reasons that we hear that everyone's so bullish have nothing to do with the macro environment, which everybody says remains challenging. Well, that's a great point. And some of the other tech stocks in our portfolio, the numbers weren't so hot. I think you would call Alphabet a, a, a minor plus. We own CDW, that was negative. So to your point, it's uh, tech isn't a monolith. I don't even think you can call it maybe even FANG anymore. We're in that group. Everything's doing great for all of them. It's company by company, but you know, back to Meta. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be great um, if we owned a, a grocery store and three billion people came through the doors every day? It's uh, you know, it's it, it, it's a global giant, but in the big scheme of things, maybe it isn't as big as we think when we just think about the size of the market cap here in the United States and this and the move of the stock. Uh, it really fell to some really pessimistic lows last year. Probably should have never have gotten that low to begin with. So this comparisons of where it was six or seven months ago, I, I'd like to make the case that it probably should have never gotten that down that low. It did. Um, and this rise is more than deserved. 